Welcome to the Believe You Receive podcast. I'm Dr. Lorette Willis. Be encouraged, be inspired, get excited. I have faith-filled, fun-filled words, prayer, and declarations to help you be your best self. Jesus said in Mark 11, 24, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. We see in Job 22:28 in the King James Version, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. In the Amplified, it says, You shall also decide and decree a thing, and it shall be established for you, and the light of God's favor will shine upon your ways. Well, what what is a decree? A decree is an official order issued by a legal authority. And as believers, we have authority, the authority that Jesus gave us, the authority in the name of Jesus, the authority that he holds. We see that. I call it our Luke 10, 19 authority, where Jesus said, behold, I give you authority over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, no thing shall by any means hurt you. So what is a decree? What is a declaration? What does it mean to do that? Well, it's spoken and we are to be imitators of God as dear children, as we see in Ephesians 5, 1. Well, what did God do? And God said, we see this in Genesis 1, and God said, let there be light and light burst forth and light was. And God said, let there be a dome between the waters to separate the water above from the water below. And God said, let the water beneath the sky be gathered into one place and the dry ground appear. And God said, we see that over and over again. So you get the picture there. But, you know, there were times in both the Old and New Testaments where God instructed his leaders to speak to a situation to get the breakthrough. They were being commanded to use their spiritual authority. And I want you to correlate that to your own situation right now to gain a breakthrough in a crisis situation. We see this again and again. He told Moses to speak to the rock to get water. He told Joshua to shout at the walls after walking around them seven times and blowing his trumpet with all the people, the praisers there. Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it died. Peter spoke to the crippled man and he got up and walked. And Jesus spoke to Lazarus to come out of the grave. And Jesus told us to speak to the mountain. We see that in Mark eleven twenty three. In verse 22, he says, have faith in God or have the God kind of faith. Whoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and do not doubt in your heart, but believes those things that you say will come to pass, you will have. He will have. The person who does this will have whatever he says. So there is power in the spoken word. Decree a thing, declare it in line with God's word, and it will be established and light, the light of God's favor, the light of God's truth will shine on your path. What is that light? Psalm 119, 105 says, your word, O Lord, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So I invite you right now to repeat after me, Lord God, I decree and declare that what you want for my life is being established right now to your glory in Jesus' name. And the light of your favor shines upon my way right now. My steps are ordered by you. You're showing me the way to go. And I'm following you step by step. In Jesus' name, amen. Now give thanks to the Lord. He's leading and guiding you. Glory to God. Hey, thank you for being with me today. To learn more about Praise Moves Fitness Ministry, go to praisemoves.com. To become a certified health coach with a biblical worldview, go to certifiedhealthcoachinstitute.com. And to learn how to renew your mind and retrain your brain at the same time, please go to betransformed.today. That's betransformed.today.